Good evening, family. This is Miss Norma. I'm back um, with our reading for March the 12th. I hope you all had a good day. Um, it fell down this morning, so I just left it. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you all had a good day today. It's good to be here this evening. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. I hope everyone has had a good day. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for being able to be here once more with my YouTube family, my TikTok family, new people that have stopped by, new people that have left comments, Lord. Thank you, Lord, so much for just being with us in many ways here. Thank you for our prayer ministry here, those who are praying, Lord. So I just ask that your continued blessing would be upon us all. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The reading is from March the 12th and is titled, Our Garden. The scripture lesson is Luke chapter 2, verse chapter 10 and verse 2. Luke 10 and 2, and it reads, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Amen. Meaning it's work to be done, family. Amen. Uh, one summer, I planted a garden, just a small patch in the backyard. My plants, squash, tomatoes, and cucumbers, along with bell peppers, began blooming. Each morning, I awaited the time to go out and see the blessings from my Heavenly Father. The vegetable plants blossomed and then began to bear fruit. I was elated, took pictures and shared them with my family and friends. I was excited as the first vegetables appeared. I took multiple photos and placed the first fruits on my kitchen counter in a white bowl to reflect the beauty of the mix of colors. I sent pictures of my perfectly colored vegetables to family and friends. I thank God for the blessings of my garden and began to feel his presence each day as I walked outside and picked fresh vegetables. I came into to the house to show my husband God's miracles, his blessings, my harvest. The vegetables grew faster than we could consume them, and I was able to share my harvest with those at work, at church, and in my neighborhood. I felt so proud that my green thumb had paid off, but I knew the real reason why. I thought of all the care given to my garden, the placement of each seed at just the right distance from another, the daily watering, plant food, and even friendly insects to keep small creatures from, de from destroying the leaves. The sun gave it light, its light every day. Bees swarmed about, pollinating the buzz. Yes, I watched over my garden each day, making sure that everything needed was provided for nourishment and growth. Thinking of my harvest made me reflect on God's harvest. We must plant the seeds of God's love into the hearts of those we meet on our jobs, in our families, and in our neighborhoods. We may plant others, we may plant others water, and still others may reap the harvest. God will bless us as he blessed my garden. I performed all three actions, planting, watering, and harvesting. In God's garden of souls, we may perform one or all three acts, ensuring a healthy harvest of souls for the kingdom. We will know the effects of our care when we enter heaven and view the stars in our crown. May we all be blessed as we become laborers with God and hasten his soon coming by planting seeds of God's love into the hearts of others. Amen.
Our reading for today was written by Edna Andrews Rose. Amen. Our garden. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful illustration, Lord. And maybe some hearing it for the first time, Lord, that we have a garden and we are from a garden, Lord. And that we water it sometimes, we plant seeds, and sometimes, as she did with her vegetable garden, she reaped a harvest. Lord, we are all doing the work that we don't know what the end result is. And we won't find out until we get to the kingdom. So bless us, Father, for all the good work that you put before us and that we reach out our hand to do, Lord, and the help that we extend out to others in need. We never know. We never know, Lord, until that wonderful time in your kingdom when you will show us the fruit of our labors and what we participated in. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Blessings, family, healing to all. Continue to pray for our um, prayer list. I haven't given an update lately. It's been kind of hectic on this end, but um, I will um, um, on one of these days when I'm able to take a breath. But um, those of you um, that know um, some of the names and also uh, if you peruse the videos you will see some of them that say prayer list update or something like that to our new family members so blessed and healing oh this one is a little long today haven't done a long one like this in a while but have a good evening family a good afternoon or good night this is miss norma signing off and by his grace i will see you later and remember the greatest love of all is the love of jesus christ our lord and savior amen good night family